of humankind is characterized by episodes of cruel wars, rebellions, ethnic cleansing, and terrorism. While it is true that efforts have been exerted by nations and international bodies to bring lasting peace in the world, pockets of war and rebellion still rage in different places. Why is this so? The reason why real peace seems to be an elusive dream for humankind is because very few, if there are any, are willing to forgive those who have hurt them or done them wrong. The rule of thumb has always been retaliation, not reconciliation. Thus, it is very difficult for ceasefires or truces to succeed. Our troubled world needs people whose hearts are willing to forgive. Many of us who are tormented by the desire to get back at our enemies. Reconciliation cannot be had unless we learn to take the initiative and make the first move to offer the handshake of forgiveness. This may seem difficult, especially if you are the great party, but then it is precisely the aggrieved party who has every reason to forgive. Once reconciliation is forged, peace follows. Peace here is not felt only externally, but also deep within the heart of the concept parties. It is obvious that when the quarreling stops, peace steps in. Yes, I will. Yes. Yes. Do you believe that Christ can forgive me? Yes. Yes. Because we know that Jesus will not be sleeping. You forgive me who have sinned against you, and so forgive me. Yes, I forgive people who sin against me, and yes, it is easy, because I believe that even God forgives all the sinners in the world, so I myself will forgive the sinners too. Yes, maka forgive ko but kanang dili siya sa iyo ni Brian. Kuan ko na kasal ni Brian. Kanang murag ma. Masana ma, magubah ang emosya sa person na di na kaya forgive.